Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about the new Sephora Collection Colorful Gloss Balm Lip Honeys. So these have actually been out for a while now. I haven't actually seen anybody talking about them, so that's why I wanted to do this video. I thought they were a pretty cute idea. They are cruelty-free, 10 Canadian dollars and 8 US dollars, and you get 9 grams or 0.32 ounces of product. And just to give you an idea, that's the same amount that you get in a Fenty gloss balm. And I was looking at my other glosses, my Buxom one, you get half amount in the Buxom. Same with the Bite French Press lip glosses, you get half the amount of this, roughly. The packaging of these is really cute. I love the honeycomb. And then you have this squeezy top applicator. It just comes right out the top there. So they came out with five shades. I just bought three of them because I didn't really want to get five. So first I got number 38 to pillow and this is the lightest shade of the five, a nice light golden gloss. I also got number 39 wildflower. This one's more of an orangey brown, but it also has some gold shimmers throughout and it's really pretty in the two. And then I also got number 42, Manuka. This one I'm kind of confused about. This is like this tube specifically is like the second darkest one. Um, there's one more darker than this one. If you look on the Sephora app or website, it looks like these um, are kind of switched around. It looks like Manuka and I think um, Orange Blossom. I think they got switched around because um, this one on the website looks like the yellow shade and it just seems just wrong <laughs> but these labels here are just stickers so it could have just been mislabeled either way i got these three shades so the other two shades orange blossom it's similar to this one it's actually really similar to this one it's just a bit darker and then there's also number 41 blackberry which is a purpley shade of the gloss so these are supposed to be like a lip gloss and a lip balm kind of hybrid. Basically it looks like a lip gloss on the lips, but acts like a lip balm in that it gives moisture and nourishment to your lips as you wear it. It's supposed to give a sheer wash of color. They emphasize sheer with zero stickiness and all the shades are inspired by actual honey shades. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply all of these three right now. I'm gonna start with the lightest one I have to pillow here. So this is Tapello on my lips. Um, it pretty much just looks like a clear lip gloss. If you look really close, like, I mean like an inch away from my face, you can see the tiny little gold flecks that are in there, but it pretty much just goes on as a clear gloss. Okay, next up I'm gonna try on Wildflower. So this is the shade Wildflower. It only really looks slightly, slightly different than the last shade. It's still pretty much a sheer gloss, but it does give my lips a little bit of kind of warmth to them. You can see it just ever so slightly. It really is a sheer, sheer wash of color. It pretty much looks clear, but there is a little bit of warmth added there. And it's actually a really nice touch. I mean, if you like put this on and on and build it up, you can see the color, but then it just looks gloopy and it feels really gross, so you don't want to do that. And finally, I'm going to try on Manuka. Okay, this one's Manuka on, and again, very similar to the other two, there is a light, light wash of kind of brown color, which is pretty, but it's barely noticeable. And they did say it's a sheer color, so I can't complain about that. I just think there's not enough kind of variation in between the three shades. Even though they look really different in the tubes, they go on your lips, very similar. So I don't think it's worth kind of buying more than one shade. I mean, unless you want more than one too. The more gloss you put on, the more you can see the color, but then it just becomes uncomfortable and it looks really nasty because it gets all gloopy and it's just not a good look. So it's not really worth it. If you're looking to build up the color, I would say go with a different type of gloss. This one is definitely just kind of a sheer wash of color and that's it. Pretty much just a clear gloss, um, just with a little hint of kind of whatever shade is in the tube. So I have been wearing these kind of for the last couple of days so I have an idea of how they wear. Each gloss is slightly scented. They do have a very subtle, sweet scent and they also taste sweet. It tastes like sugar on your lips, which 
I kind of like, it's not like a gross sickly sweet, it's just a subtle kind of sweetness and they're all the exact same scent and taste. When I put it on my lips, it's definitely a very nourishing formula. It reminds me, like the feeling of it on my lips reminds me of my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. It's that kind of, like you can definitely feel that there's a gloss on your lips, but it feels like it's adding moisture in and not taking moisture out, which gotta love that. Also definitely not sticky. Like yes, you can feel that there's a gloss on your lips, but it's very comfortable and it's not sticky. I would say these last mm, an hour, hour and a half max on my lips and then I have to reapply. They don't last very long, especially since they're already kind of clear and they kind of just go away faster and you can see it less. And I would say it's like a moderate shine. Like you can see this one now. It's not a high shine gloss, I'd say. It's a moderate shine gloss, but they're not gonna advertise moderate shine. <laughs> there is shine, but it's not high shine. The application um, is not my favorite. I don't really like the squeezy tube. I prefer like a stick that you can put on, but it just can be a little bit easy to put on too much. And then you have to take it off and it's like a whole thing. If that's not a first world problem. I don't know what is. Overall, I would recommend these. These are not a gloss that I would buy if you like what's in the tube because that's not really what's gonna go on your lips. It's gonna be a very, very sheer version of what's in the tube on your lips. Um, but it's a very comfortable formula. It's a very hydrating formula, not sticky, and it wears off in a really flattering way. Like it doesn't get goopy or gross. It just kind of goes away and then you can reapply it. Um, you do have to reapply it like every hour but I mean, it's a lip gloss. It's just not gonna last all day. Yeah, overall, I'm really happy with them. Um, totally did not need to buy three because they all look the exact same pretty much, but um, it's a really great formula and I can see myself getting a ton of use out of these. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say about these other than if you're interested, I think it would be a good purchase. I don't think you would regret it. Just keep in mind that the color in the tube doesn't translate so well onto your lips, but they do kind of warn you with that. They say it's a sheer coverage, so that's all I have for today. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you later. Bye.